Hi, myself Dr. Vivek Shashindran and today we are going to talk about sinusitis. Well, this is probably one of the most commonly used terminologies. I would say medical terminology. So when you say sinusitis, it refers to an inflammation of the sinuses. So as you would know that the sinuses are basically air filled spaces within the skull bone. Now you have approximately eight sinuses. So these are four on either sides, mainly the maxillary that is located just below the eye. You have the ethmoidal sinus that is between both the eyes. You have the frontal sinus and then the sphenoid sinus, which is located way behind the nasal cavity. Now these sinuses generally contain air and each sinus has a opening through which whatever mucus or discharge collects within the sinus drains into the nasal cavity. Now if for any reason the opening of a particular sinus gets blocked, then subsequently the patients develop symptoms of sinusitis. Now what are the symptoms of sinusitis? So the common symptoms are nasal congestion, nasal block, patients could complain of facial pain. For example, if it's a maxillary sinus that's involved, there will be pain around this area. If it's a frontal, there can be pain around the front, frontal region. The patient can complain of post-nasal discharge. That is, they have a feeling of uh, pus or discharge trickling into the throat. And this is something that they encounter more frequently when they lie down. Apart from this, they can also have smell disturbance. So they may not be able to perceive smell to the fullest. Now, these patients can also have complaints related to the ear in the sense because the nose and the ear is connected, any kind of inflammation within the nasal cavity can manifest as a recurrent ear pain or could manifest as a blockage in the ear. Now, when you talk about sinus infections or when you talk about sinusitis, you have two types of sinusitis. You refer it to as acute sinusitis, where the patient has a bout or maybe few recurrent episodes of the above mentioned symptoms, or it could be chronic sinusitis. When these symptoms keep bothering the patient for more than three months or over a period of more than three months. Thank you so much.